plants are able to deal with lack of water is that they perform a special type of photosynthesis called CAM photosynthesis. Hi, I'm Mike Rotter, and I'm an assistant professor in biology here at UVU. One of our favorite plants that most of us have at home are succulent plants. And these plants are so great as house plants because we can just throw them in a sunny window and really neglect them. They don't require a lot of water. One of the reasons why they're so useful and don't require a lot of water is because their wild ancestors were really adapted to living in the desert. One way that they can survive with little water is based on their title of their growth form, being a succulent plant. If you were to snip one of these leaves, you would see really fast that the inside of the leaf is full of water. And this succulent habitat allows them to store lots of water inside of them. The other way that these plants are able to deal with lack of water is that they perform a special type of photosynthesis called CAM photosynthesis. In regular photosynthesis, plants need to open up tiny pores in their leaves in order to breathe in carbon dioxide to make sugars out of. The problem with this is, if you are stressed for water, as you open up those pores, water is going to try to escape from that leaf. But in CAM photosynthesis, these plants can take advantage of temperatures during the day versus temperatures during the night. At night, when it's cooler, these plants will open up those pores then, and water is not going to come out as fast, and they can still breathe in that CO2. And these two methods are primarily the reason why succulents make such excellent house plants, especially with people like me that tend to neglect our poor green friends.